Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert But Before I get into today's update, just want to let you know I got my uh, DOS TV shirt on today. Did a little tour of their uh, studio uh, not too long ago. And if you're looking for uh, something that involves science, technology in the Philippines, highly suggest you check them out. Uh, I'll put a link down below. I have the suit on over top of it because unfortunately the shirt they gave me, it, yep, it's got a ton of green on it. But anyways, just wanted to start off, talk about that real quick. High pressure dominating the Western Pacific today though, and uh, really keeping things dry across the Mariana Islands, even all the way back towards the Philippines. You still have a little bit of an easterly flow, some afternoon showers kicking up across some of these areas, but overall, this is the area I want to watch next. It's this easterly uh, wave developing towards the south and east of Guam. And you can see on our GFS SpaghettiOs, ECMWF doesn't really show it too much, but the GFS really continuing to want to develop something near the Philippines as we go ahead into the latter part of next week. We're talking about, about Wednesday into Friday of next week. So, Definitely want to keep a, a very close eye on this. Now, if anything did develop, especially if it hit this upward uh, area of a vertical motion, positive vorticity around Guam, you definitely could be seeing a little bit of an increased convection at the very least, which would increase rainfall across the Philippines. Low chance of recurvature as well. As you can tell, high pressure dominating here. So the overall background flow will continue to carry something towards the Philippines unless it edged further towards north and just pulled towards the east. I mean, there's just a million questions to be had here, guys. That's the key thing I want you to take away. This this is an area to watch right now, but it has been the number one question people have been asking me. So uh, definitely want to continue to keep a very close eye on it at the very least at this time. But, um, you know, I'm not saying that a typhoon is developing at the current moment. Let's just make that clear. There's a potential here. Here's just a look at the uh, overall background flow again with the isobars back towards the north, a high pressure area just towards the east of Japan. Rainy season front trying to develop there. And then you can just see the wind barbs, what are easterlies pushing on through. Thursday and the Friday, actually a little increase in uh, rainfall still across parts of Asias and even over towards uh, parts of Luzon as well, just because of kind of that easterly waves tracking through. They start to see a Monday and the Tuesday and next week increase areas, these low pressures popping up on our model. That's also that increase in rainfall as well so boy we got to keep an eye into next week like i said the spaghettios those ensembles which is basically the model's confidence getting uh ever more increasing more rainfall though today here as we go ahead into your friday across mindanao cebu at 30 Tacloban at 30 as well actually rojas going to remain dry for once there for you 30 degrees look further towards north manila also looking at a little bit of sunshine but like i said still got kind of that easterly wave so iligan 32 degrees, chance of some afternoon thunderstorms on your Friday. I think things will dry out more for you guys here across central and northern Luzon heading into the weekend. But for now, uh, still going to be looking at that chances of afternoon areas of rainfall, especially in the mountains. You just kind of get those moistures hitting that orographic lifting further towards the north. Meanwhile, the death toll in, unfortunately, in uh, southern areas of the Philippines has increased over 100 and 75 at this time. It's still an ongoing tragic situation following a Gothan, uh, also known as Meggy, dropped, I mean, just staggering amounts of rainfall across these areas and specifically across much of late day, uh, especially in Bye Bye there. Uh, that's where one of the largest landslides took place. And yeah, it, it, late day itself on the entire island, over 100 fatalities have been reported here and ongoing recovery. I know a lot of people out there impacted and uh, really my heart goes out to you guys and hopefully, uh, you know, we get some better news in the near future. But for now, still, even in the Cebu, you know, you got partly cloudy skies heading Friday and Saturday, but increasing rainfall by next week. As I mentioned, there's that tropical wave coming in. Metro Manila, sunnier skies Friday into Saturday as well, but you're going to start to see that cloud cover Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Temperatures also on the hot side there for you. Like I said, north of Metro Manila, definitely can be seeing that increase in the precip. And taking a look uh, at all our patreons hey if you guys want to help out you don't have to join patreon either um if you notice on youtube i also put a join button there too if you guys want to help out support this channel the data here the graphic designs they're not free so every little bit helps especially garmin i keep on going back to him because he's just a big help uh, donating a lot of money uh to uh westpac weather to help keep us going didn't even ask for anything in return just said you know you guys keep on doing what you're doing but that's the same for everybody else here i try to put a little perks little uh early videos especially when i'm doing when i have time to make 
educational videos, you get first look at that if you do join our Patreon account. But the number one thing is it's just your help paying for the data, help paying for the technology, help paying for the green screen, which obviously I think I need to get a new one because uh, there's like a hole there. Um, yeah, that's something I need to invest in. But yeah, two, six or ten dollars a month anyways. OK, I'll stop rambling about that. If you guys have any questions, comments or suggestions, please let me know. Of course, if we do get a storm system developing, know your information through official sources. As always, I always say that, and, you know, always have a kind of a go bag or something like that just in case you do start to get warned on. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Once again, do go check out DOS TV. Uh, like I said, wearing their shirt. They asked me to. Unfortunately, I got a big blot of green on there, so it doesn't show up too well on the green screen. It looks like I got a, an ovo tummy or something. You know, maybe lost a little weight. Anyways, stay safe out there, guys. Bye.